세러데이 쇼다운 오케이 저축은행 브리온데 방금 프릭스 It's a, it's a new league And Zaya in general I think is just not in the best of spots It is an aim of comfort pick And we'll see if that's enough to get them through Yeah, I mean, it gives him an escape if he gets himself into a weird spot. When? We oftentimes do when? that. <laughs> oh, Sorry, man. not if, when. Uh, it does happen. Leona alongside a Callista. Uh, that is a... It packs a big punch in terms of engage and in terms of uh, a lot of CC. As we hop onto the rim for game number one. Uh, way back in the day, and that, that's not really a thing anymore. Instead, you get damage amplification for yourself, and it sticks around. Uh, also does mean most likely that this will be the on-hit Callista. Lethality generally still goes Hail of Blades. So, not going to be the case. Kind of find himself a small lead. And this Lucid is taking a bit of a, of a gamble here. As, uh, uh, what's going on up in the top lane here? It is Zack, so he does get some regen back. But a very close trade after all. As Kingen getting in there with the shield. The top Skarner jungle debut is going to get the passive of Zack. Can he get the kill? is the question. He's not even going to try for it. As a uh, little hop comes in, that's going to force a flash from Showmaker. As both these teams, they came to play today. They're not sitting back and farming. They are getting in each other's faces. So that gets banned away, and Doran's forced on Zack. And so far, as you mentioned, hasn't looked great for him. I don't know if his passive is still down. Otherwise, they might look for a play towards the top. So. Oh, no. Not, not, not the face check. Not the face check, Doran. Not this time, as he is going to go into the ult. But there's three people here. His first blood for Kingen. And just like that, he is dead. Oh, Doran. Your bot side has set up a great freeze. So even if Kingen heads down towards the bot lane, uh, you will be in a great spot. He can make something happen. That's not going to be the case, as we do see here for Lucid is pathing. Obviously, hey. he was the one getting invaded. Five seconds in the enemy jungle, so Rome Squad coming in here onto Zekka. We already have the stun on the rocks. And Zekka with flash available as Kingen going to... Oh, God, he's just going to push him away, and Zekka just walking this one off. But there's four people here, and everybody's going to get in there and take him down as they finally get rid of that pesky Tristana. Things might be a little bit rusty on both sides. As now we still have this pressure, but now a TP coming in. Viper is in a lot of trouble as he is going to flash over the wall. He does use this barrier as well, but there's not a lot of places for him to go. He's getting poked down, and there is the knock up as Viper will go down. Delight's going in, trying to peel for the team, but now he's got to flash out as well. And maybe he saves the rest of his team, but this is still a huge win for DK. Meanwhile, King and also already rotating over. And part of that is because there's been a lot of pressure, and I think particularly that 1-2 of Vi and Rakan, you need to play very respectful. If you ever make a misstep, as uh, uh, of that. Yeah, speaking of which, I mean, they're just going to flash on him here, and they have so much CC. Zinga just flashes away, though, but aiming, getting on in there, the double knockup from the side of Showmaker, and now, DK, they finally get that pesky Tristana again on top of a turret, and DK are running away with this first one. Now we got the Impale coming in. As Viper does have Showmaker on him as well. Gets knocked into the he wall. He doesn't get the back in the air. And this is just so sad for the Callista in this game. And a high speed sequence coming through from DK. You're playing Callista into Rakan, Vi, mm. Skarner, and Talia. Like, that's that's not a that's not a good time. Yeah, you don't get to play the game. As now, speaking of which, they try to rush out of the Rift Herald. And now Doran's just dead. I mean, he might go down to his passive here, but... Now you're down to Zack. The Zack isn't doing anything at this point in time. DK's still going to be respectful, but here Hang comes up. Garner. He's going through the wall. Can you get away from this guy? Is this going to knock the Leona into this one? Delight knows he's dead. He goes in, accepts his fate, and D plus Kia, 7-0 to zero right now, totally owning this first game. it here, because the reality is, is yeah, that if you're CC, landing this is the easiest thing in the world. So Showmaker only needs is someone to enable him, uh. and the entirety of his team is doing a wonderful job. So so first he was just talking about Zack not having teleport, and then it's just talking about this fight, uh. but... If you if you grab him, this, oh. he doesn't have flash, and I will come over with the wall, is what he's saying. And Showmaker calls it, King's like, all right. That's that's it. Trying to set up soul point for the team. Look at the scorpion. Look at the vision control here for DK as well. Huh. Well, they do have Kingen coming in from behind. They should know he is around. They got to ward down to spot him. 
As now Viper with the Mega Cone making his way over. Doran has to hop away. Oh, kind of a precarious situation for Homolite Esports as they have grouped up as a team. An alt sent in. Delight not going to do much. And King is still threatening on the back line. Now Peanut is going to be able to land this smite. But what does this fight look like as Viper not able to play the game? Once again, Delight is already down. And this might just be a route. Everybody on the side of Homolite Esports just trying to run away from the side of T plus Kia. Even the a wall coming in from the side of Showmaker. He wants more. And he will. Will have more as Peanut doesn't do anything. It is a clean ace that comes down 17 minutes into the game. Honestly, I mean, you've got this Leona and Tazaya. It's not really doing much at all, and they had some pressure, but they weren't able to capitalize on it at all. So once you kind of lose a lot of that power from what you were drafting, it just feels bad. As now Lucid is going in. He got engaged on, but he doesn't care. He wants more blood. And it's just a lackluster move from Homolay Esports, who don't have a single kill yet in this first game. Still nothing for Humble Life. The Drakes, yeah, there, there's something. But I mean. it's, it, it doesn't mean that much in the, in the grand scheme of things. Even if you end up getting the soul somehow, you're going to be at a... Flash. Like, he has flash. Oh, he knows. He has, he, there's no point. Oh. No, there, there's no way. At, at this point, obviously, it is going to have to be a colossal. There's 275. So what What I'm wondering is, yeah, kill what is what is that <laughs> the kill goal for Hanwha? Wait, but they have zero kills. Yeah. Huh, interesting. Um, anyway, <laughs> Zekka, he is going to get stunned up here. And you know that Showmaker, he wants more. He's having the game of his life. And Viper is just so sad in this game. He never got to play for even a single second. The light's already laughing. Okay, yeah, they get the kills, they get the Baron. 24 minutes in. Don't need a Zyra jungle in this case. Is now, oh god, Showmaker just flashing on in. Gonna take down Viper as well. He's gonna be gone and maybe he plus T plus Kia just try to end it here. I mean, they are so far ahead, they have the power, and Kingen's not even there. Doesn't have TP, he's just bullying Doran in the bottom lane, as he has been all game. Oh, oh well. That feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Delight. Okay, come on. <laughs> Delight. It's over. It hey, got on top of Showman. Nice try, nice try. It doesn't okay. matter, but he did it. He did it, Velvest. Good combo, good combo. Nice effort. Um, Kingen is still chasing him. What is happening? Okay, did they go too far? Zekka is full health. The flash on in and in mid ultimate, and the knockup comes in. And that'll put the nail in the coffin on this game. I mean, as another knockup is going to come in, Doran flashing on in, does knock him together, but a double knockup comes in now. Got a kill! And Skarner just got here. As yes, they did get the kill onto the support who has war mocks. Okay, <laughs> the game is finally over. 22 kills to one. D plus Kia come in and smash Hamalei Beastports in game number one. Not the debut you want when yeah. SP not actually <laughs> ends up doing the most damage yeah, he on his spears, team. I guess. It will be the Kazix to come through here for Peanut into Lucid his Viego. Yeah, definitely another pick that um, can get the snowball rolling if you do want to find an isolated target in the enemy jungle. Namely, Lucid trying to make that impact once again here. Was denied as Nidalee, but going to try it on the Kha'Zix. As we do have the Leona, we'll see if they can get that ball rolling for them as we are ready to hop into the rift for game number two. 88. 88, Valdez. <laughs> I have. 88? I remember him playing Kha'Zix a decent amount, like over the course of the two years on Gen G. Yeah. And I could, I could never be like, oh man, Peanut 1v9 the game. And then every time I look, his record on the pick is absolutely impeccable. Impeccable. It's crazy. I don't understand it. Last time, DK was very aware of this happening. This time, that won't be the case. As oh. He's no trying pain. to. Nope. Uh, but he's going to start up the red buff here, and now Lucid is going to see this. As now, just going to get jumped on Lucid. Not going to be hit by that W. Oh. Going to help keep him a bit healthy, as this will come down to a smite fight, but it does go the way of Peanut this time. Nicely done by Doran and Zekka. <laughs> Very far up, as that that's not, that's not DK Ghost. 
Yeah. That's BBQ Ghost <laughs> against something. <laughs> it's, it's budget ghost. <laughs> Max is for you to play into in mid to late game team fights, where I think Kazix normally, obviously, is an assassin that skills super well, as we do have a play here. Zeka does have flash, but he's just being CC'd to death. I don't think he's even going to use it. And down he goes. Kellen will get first blood, unfortunately. For DK, but it's still a win to take him down. A flash coming down here. Peanut has to get away. King and thinking about getting on in there. He's gonna flash forward with the gold card. Oh, and the follow up comes in from Kellen, and that will barely be enough. Although this is Skarner in the top lane, so yeah, goodbye, Lucid. Um, Skarner just doing Skarner things. DK very flashy with their play, and still a big win for them. Kellen still being very active on this map. First gets the play towards Zeka, as we do have uh, King and maybe in some trouble here. Uh, pretty low on mana is Doran, but... Oh boy, here we go again. Flash knocked into the wall, and Peanuts right there, able to close the distance incredibly fast on that Kha'Zix. Some trading here in mid, but yeah, at least Hamalei Feesport's able to trade back here early on. And Not able to make his way back, and then here... The impale, the you might be looking at that and going, I should he really be able to kind of impale people that are on the cooldowns available? I wonder, does DK actually want to go for it? Looks like they might instead just opt to shove, maybe set up some priority surrounding the Drake as well, who's going to give over the Herald to Humba. Well, they know that the soul will be Chemtech with Ox on the desk. Of so. course. Uh, we'll see if they do prior that. As aiming, nice little dodge there. He still has his cleanse, but um, in a bit of trouble. He's going to cleanse the stun from dashing over the rocks. At least he builds tank side, uh, tank item. He does, yeah. That's, that's something. Um, okay, dashing in here, trying to get that assassination on the Viper, but he's met with a arrow to the face. The Viper will just uh, look them in the face as they do run away. Showmaker, meanwhile, pushing on the top side. We do have Doran on the bottom side of the map, but could see some action here. Peanut, obviously, a lot of vision control. This is kind of what the Kha'Zix is used for with that first item, just clearing out all the wards. He's also got the scanner. He's also very fast with the brushes. As uh, aiming has found delight, and he has found a TP coming in here, and he has found his own death. So nice little capitalization. Delight hanging out in the jungle and will take him down, as now Kellen might be in a bit of trouble as well. We have the flash of the Impale. I think it's debatable if that alone is worth investing that summoner, but we'll see if DK is able to leverage the silent pressure they should have with this TF in a way that actually punishes the lack of teleports. The light goes in again. This is a Leona, though, and Kellen's totally fine to go for that one. The ult comes out, the arrow is going to miss. Kellen, or rather King in, in the front line, is just going to throw a gold card into Peanut and back away. Big skirmish here over the blue buff. <laughs> Which does go the way of D plus Kia. But He's been on a lot of adventures. Okay, they're going to spot him here. Delight's in a lot of trouble. He does have his Unbreakable Will. And he is going to try to delay this now. Kellen also supremely tanky himself. And now TP coming in. And the big sweep is going to get Zekka. But now the Impale too. And that might just turn it around here for Hummelai Esports. They get that kill on the Lucid as well. And we see Showmaker isolated. Viper pretty low. Eats a gold card. Kingen getting in there. And the damage out of Showmaker and Kingen is not going to be enough with Peanut coming in. And this should be a wipe in favor of Hummelai Esports. Doran. Still above half health and still totally fine. An ace for how my is his fault. Like, take a look at this. Valkyrie's throw, throw, away throw. and he's just... Uh, yeah, so there's been a lot of aiming uh, aiming, diving into to people. I think the hitbox at the tail end of the Impale is Delight, who, FYI, hasn't died yet. Uh, Doran's getting in there. He is going to be stunned up by Kellen, which is very nice. But Showmaker going to eat an arrow and now he is so dead. There is no hope. Although, no, oh, he's going to go down. Five members here. The entire team just leaving him to go down. As Torin's still charging on in, he is going to catch Kellen. But that is a Leona. Might be trying to force the flash here, and they will be able to do that. So Amelie Feesports feels like they are so far ahead. I mean, it's only 3,000 gold, but a lot of that's in the TF, which... We got the TP here. I mean, Showmaker's probably going to TP anyway for the Drake. As Zorin is taking a decent amount of poke damage. Just a bit from Showmaker and Aiming. Lucid now just going to face check into this Kha'Zix, and he's in a bit of trouble. Nice knockup comes in. The arrow will be dodged, but Lucid's still in a lot of trouble. Kellen desperately trying to peel for him, and somehow he's still alive, but finally goes down as Zekka is traded back, but it's a two-for-one still in favor of Hamalai Esports. Is the team going to be able to follow up on this, though, is the question. Zekka gets a wall down, and they're just all in the top lane group, so that flank doesn't do anything. As the Baron push is going to take down this inhibitor, now trying to engage right from the front. Just going to throw in a solar flare. 
and back them away, but we still have this inhibitor going down. Hamalei Esports, he's definitely looking for the TPF as uh, King and Hinu. He had his gold card ready right away. On his ult, so yeah. not going to be feeling too bad about that one. Doran? Okay, they're trying to kill the Skarner. Um, Still okay. trying. They almost got through the shield, guys. They almost got the shield. Okay, the damage goes in on the King, and the Impale is huge. As Skarner is always able to turn it around so, so quickly. Still getting to work here on the Lucid. They send it for one final attempt to try to catch Doran off guard. They get the kill on the Viper, but that's going to be it. Hamalei of Esports have run away with this game as these two tanky boys just sprinting at the Corky, who cannot do much at all. A TP in the top lane as they're looking to try to end it through that push. Lucid, three levels down. I don't think he's going to do a whole lot. Tries to get an interrupt on Zekka. Doesn't end up mattering. Zekka will just jump off. But it looks like we are going to a game number three, Valdez. <laughs> hey, it's Garner. He's just fine. It's, uh, I just thought maybe he would knock a, a stun up or something like that. As aiming is in a lot of trouble, he'll be burst down by Pina to add a fantastic game as this Nexus will go down. Havali Esports force a game number three just like that. As this one looks a lot different to the first game we had in the series. Uh, very nicely done to pull it ahead as Skarner does the most damage in the game. Um, yeah, uh, anyway. Uh, we do have a game number three on the way. Uh, a very linear gold graph you could see for the sign of Hama Life. Is it, you know, more egregious even than no way? No way. I think that we've seen, even though, you know, his last game wasn't necessarily the greatest. I think he's had a lot of great moments in his uh, in his in his career in challengers. A lot of highlights, some lowlights as well. As well as his, his ultimate. But I said that pretty Pretty mediocre setup for the Nidalee. Skarner versus the world once again. DK opt into it, and we'll see if Lucid can take over the game. Let's hop onto the rip for game number three. Like, even at MSI, I felt that way. It became a, a really big and important pick for that tournament as well. I'm just... It definitely has been a big pick for aiming uh, for many, <laughs> many a season after Zeri did come out through the OP times and the decent times as well. Shoemaker just continuing to get very feisty here in the mid lane. But um, yeah, not a lot of <laughs> point and click CC, but still a ton of amazing CC. Should be in the favor of Humble Life, realistically, given that they have the game with a much better track record. Uh oh, uh, a little bit of a play here. He's under turret damage, Doran in a lot of trouble, but uh, he's got the nearby, and now the Impale comes in, and a chance to turn it as the flashes come out from both top laners to get away from that play. Strong soul that I think you wouldn't feel bad about uh -oh. getting Peanuts. Peanuts in so much trouble. He's going to try to hop away from this one, but Flash on in from Showmaker. He's got the hop here as well. And Peanut with no Flash available. That will be first blood over to Showmaker and a red buff to boot alongside of this Drake. Nice setup here from Kellen as Peanut on no vision. The problem is that this is still Skarner. Yeah. We'll see. Well, he's going to try to grab him through the yep. wall, straight into the hands of the Nidalee. Is it enough as Doran trying to get away through the terrain? And he will for now, but it is Nidalee. Oh. As he's going to miss the spear. Seemed like a pretty free one there, but Lucid, he wants this kill, and he will pick it up with the E, just slashing ahead of him to get that kill. He was getting a little bit close there. He was getting scared for him, but he does get the job done. Yeah, it's just going to be a straight up 5v5, but as you mentioned, Kellen is all by his lonesome, and he's got a Skarner coming over the wall. Meanwhile, the rest of the team, Pina and Delight, are just kind of hanging out, trying to threaten the smite seal, but already ready, Kellen goes down, as it will be this uh, objective going the way of DK, but Kingen goes in and kind of just sacrifices himself for the eye, which he does pick up, but it's a second kill here to the side of Hamalai Esports, and all things considered, kind of a weird trade up on the top side of the map. You take that 100% of your home life, right? You get two kills. You accelerate Peanut. You accelerate Zekka. Nice kind of poke damage, yeah. Does come in. At the end of the day as well, I mean, this this might just come down to execution. This hasn't been the cl the cleanest game, I should say, I've ever seen of League of Legends. So, you know, it might just come down to who's going to make fewer mistakes in this one with some of the picks we have seen. Nice little zap. Zeri can still do that. Even as a pro gamer, you're going to be hit by some of that stuff. So here we go. 
Doran being chased down by the Tristana. Rock's going to miss. He's still on the run, but the jump does come in. And now we've got Nidalee making her way over. Lucid and Showmaker putting two and two together. And they take down Doran, who said, I'm Skarner. I can do anything, but not this time. It's actually Pocahawa that ends up being more impactful, at least for now. Yeah. We saw one spear hit Doran, I think. Um, he doesn't seem to care. There is a big push in the bottom lane, but both these teams aren't going for it. Kellen's going to hook the wall, and now he's in a lot of trouble. Down he goes, flash in from Doran. Not even necessary, looking for the Impale, but now they already got one. They're looking for a second. King in he is Cassante, but he is also dead. And that is going to be two kills in favor of Homolife Esports. I like it's this. going to go so quickly. Well, King in is going to be here in about 15 seconds with the TP. Yeah. They just have so much burst on They're this low. Baron. The damage is insane, but it's still 5v4 in this scenario, so they can turn if they want to. But the hook comes in, and maybe it's not a good idea. Delight is going to be isolated. As now Showmaker is on going to start what? up the Baron for them. Uh, now we got a TP coming in, and now it's 5v4 in favor of DK. I don't know about Lucid tanking, though. Kellen as well, already taken low. Yeah, this is getting pretty messy. Uh, <laughs> Okay, they're going to hit the Baron again. They decide to go for a Chain of Corruption. He's going to miss. He has his ult as well. This might just be a 50-50. All right, here we go. We got a Blast going as well. Not that he needs it, but it's going to be Kellen into the wall again. He goes down, and Peanut is going to be isolated by Amy, who takes him down. No jungler right now. As the damage is coming in, and DK should be able to get this done. They take down the Baron at 22 minutes. The double LDR is just going to chew through that front line of Delight and Doran. Speaking of which, Doran TPing in onto this. The burst is going to be pretty big from the Kha'Zix on this drink. Let's see who does get it. Yes, it will be the Kha'Zix. The chain comes down onto Kingen, but Homolife Esports not looking to try to fight this one head on. They're just going to back away for now, and DK will let them get away with it. We're clean with it. So let's see if DK can be clean with that, as the damage they have on this Baron is pretty insane. Peanut's still nearby. They need some vision, though. As he's going to get know. it with this W, it's just going to be a flip. Oh, and there's too late as it does go the way of the Nidalee as Kellen, unfortunately, will be the food once again for Hamalev Esports. But it's a Baron now in the hands of DK. He's doing some damage to this one, but it does look like Hamalev Esports does want to go for the 5v5 team fight. They want Doran and Delight in the front line. Look at the poke. DK. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if they can get to the Dragon. Uh, it's looking pretty rough for them. I mean, they really need to deny a Hextech it's soul fun. right now. They're ahead, and they have Baron buff, but it doesn't seem to matter. It's still the team fight in favor of Homolife Esports. They take down Kellen again, as he will be the food once again for Homolife Esports, and now against Hextech soul. To try and collapse into someone, because they can kill everyone in a very short amount of time. Wait, is so, this... Oh, they just going to keep going. is just out of position here. This is going to force oh, a TP. That's, big, that's, a, that's a big cooldown. That means yeah. the Showmaker in the side lane can actually play for that topside turret. Not going to lead to anything. But Hextech Soul for, for both Lethality, Varus, and even, even for Kha'Zix, man. Like being able to... What do you mean to, oh. for the Skarner? <laughs> um, yeah, so how many Esports are going to start this? It's gone. And yeah, this is what I was talking about. I wasn't even sure that DK would just get it because... <laughs> The vision is very even. In fact, Life Esports had position. The timing of them, you were just saying, you know, they stayed very long on the bottom side to try to catch a Skarner, but it didn't pay off. They were out of position. So Hamalai Esports just stroll into the Baron pit and take down the Baron. As this Elder is now live. And Doran, he's like, okay, we know they're in here. I mean, they've, they've got to be in here. As he's looking for someone, he's so incredibly tanky as Kingen. Wait, gonna get in. Well. The ult comes in, and yeah, that's that pick, but all with a knockup. No damage! Onto Delight means the spear misses, and the 280 carries just weren't there the whole time. So they were trying to turn, but there was no damage. As now the chain comes down onto King, and he is Cassante, but he will have to flash away. And this Elder Drake, it is burning down. DK, you need to get into the pit. You need to do something. As the hook comes in, the damage of the light is actually huge, but same onto Kellen as Impale. He's going to miss from Doran, but still Kellen goes down. And Dang. this Elder is still alive. The poke is coming in. It's a flip. The 280 carry it's a flip. the way of Lucid. He's able to take down the Elder. And with the 280 carry, he's up and now TP in the base. Look at the base. TP in the base. It might be happening, Hamalife Esports. They want to end this game right here, right now. Nobody come back, but there is Wait, Showmaker. Showmaker's there. Showmaker's there. He will stop it. 
But the Elder buff, ooh! <laughs> okay, Lucid will survive. All right, okay. <laughs> no, great job, production. Uh, love it, as now Kellen, look at this! He hits a hook, he gets the rel, and he dies. So the two supports will go down. But man, at least they're pulling the trigger. At least they're looking for these team fights. King and Shadow Maker. The spot here. Pina you know, looking for the slow, and he's going to get a huge the one. Next on to both King and onto aiming. But the, oh, that impale was so close to aiming. Showmaker. Oh my. I don't know if they can. I don't go. I don't know if they can go for Nash. Showmakers are going to try and end the game. The yeah. TP comes in. The TP, and that should be enough. <laughs> Spear not going to hit as this, this game is really, really up in the tempo here. Aiming. Okay. All right, that's a lot of damage. Says uh, a knock up here on Adoran. He is isolated, and they do have the damage. He's dead. He presses his ultimate, aiming finally does it, and they take down that damn Scorpion King. As the poke is still coming out here from Viper, still looking to keep this Baron alive for his team, and he will. Peanut. Oh, he's he's so dangerous at this point in time. Has Hextech as well. Uh, Peanut. Oh, Peanut is dead. What? <laughs> he knew they were there! He, he knew nuts. they were in the bush! He had his own available! And it oh. didn't matter. So now it's gonna come down to Viper. And they're gonna wait. The Hextech soul in the drain. The uh, arrow. They, they wait for the arrow. Happening. Yeah, Calancery is able to see it. They just wait for oh. the damage. And that's it. I mean, the Baron goes down to DK. Also, I uh, want to shout out Zephyr being bought by Aiming. That's that's a very huh. new item. I yeah. Desk can talk about it. We have more pressing battles. Stay! There we go again. Kellen, he finds his support opponent. He's but alone! Now he's alone over the wall. This is a very awkward spot. And Doran's like, yeah, no, Wait. you got to get away from me. The light was also alone! And, oh, ooh, that's hurting. Ooh. That is burning down. Zekka's in a bit of trouble. That that was one spear. What? Ah, the light! The light, no! <laughs> Oh boy! Aiming, aiming, aiming's on the ward. Aiming's on the ward. This is just getting, this is getting out of hand. Oh, okay. The soul, Kellen. He's gonna look for the engage. He's Viper. He fights Viper, and Viper will eventually go down. But Showmaker does as well. And oh, the Zeri in the back line. Gonna take down two. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna win game three. They take a huge team fight. Kellen finally finds the angle, and aiming finally sends it into that back line, and they get the job done. And it was a topsy-turvy game. It was a topsy-turvy ser uh, <laughs> series as a whole, Valdez. Uh, DK, gonna get the win here to start off the season. Wow, very, very close stuff. And it wasn't the cleanest, but it was a lot of fun, man. This was a great series to start us off. GG, DK will take the first series of LCK Summer 2024. So, you know, we weren't 100% sure if he could do it. We saw some glimpses at the end of spring, but maybe summer is the summer of DK. Thank you very much. This is Deer for the POG interview translation, joined by Showmaker and Lucid on the side of D Plus Kia, who just defeated Hanwha Life Esports. Congratulations. 네, 개막 첫 번째 경기부터 멋진 승리를 장식하셨는데요. 승리 소감 먼저 들어보겠습니다. What an incredible victory for the first day of 2024 LCK Summer. How do you feel, Showmaker? Yeah, I'm able to secure our first victory against Kona Life Esports. I'm really, really happy that we we're all able to celebrate with the team. And Lucid, yeah, we all consider Hanwha Life Esports as a strong team, and we knew that would be a challenge. And I believe that it was worth uh, the victory, as, as much as a hard game it was. So after finishing the spring season, preparing for the summer, it looks like you guys upgraded as a team. So what's something you tried to work on the most? I think in terms of the coaching staff and the players, I think we just all worked really hard and that really contributed to it. I think something that we really improved on was our mistakes on in terms of objectives. So I think we really tried hard to fix that. 
that. So do you think you've found some progress? <laughs> yeah, since we won today, I think it was very successful. And Showmaker, let's talk about game one. You blindpicked Skarner and led a 14,000 gold difference and took a dominating victory. I mean, different leagues, he definitely stands out with a bunch of highlights. So how would you rate Skarner as a champion? As you can see, Skarner is rated pretty highly in every team, I believe. And I think he is able to showcase a lot of highlights. I think every ability that he has is quite OP, so I think you'll be able to uh, look forward to seeing him more often from now on. And Lucid, in game one especially, all five members played so cohesively as one today. So what contributed to your improved teamwork? I think before summer, we were trying to practice with uh, keeping in mind how we can play better. So I think with the, the leadership that we got from the coaching staff, I think we're able to contribute to improving our teamwork. And in game three, both teams did not ban Skarner. But you guys took Nidalee as the B1 pick. I knew that uh, even if we got Skarner, I mean, we would play really well, but I was also pretty quite confident with my Nidalee, so I decided to go with Nidalee. And game three was so intense as it went over 45 minutes and ev every objective we were watching with palms full of sweat. So what was the game ending moment? So I think we were contesting objectives. I think the first elder fight that we won with Spite, Smite fight was pretty big. And taking uh, the Skarner pick, picking the Skarner off in the middle of the fight was really good. And I think we were able to really cohesively uh, team fight in the end. And that actually led us to victory. <laughs> So I think we already mentioned that everybody played really well. So you playing in the side lanes probably contributed a lot too. Yeah, I knew that we're able to, if we were able to waste the Azir's <laughs> teleport <laughs> in the bot lane, <laughs> that it would be really, really huge. So I think, yeah, it was pretty good. It worked out pretty well. And up next, looks like it says, D plus Kia over flowers. Uh, have you watched this drama? Uh, no, I can't really remember. I know what it is, though. What a funny fan sign. And up next, you will face KT Rolster, who you've been neck and neck with all spring season. So what, what will it be like this time? Yeah, when it comes to KT, every match, every game is so hard and I feel like we get so sweaty playing against them, but we will make sure that we stop them this time. Lastly, there are so many fans cheering for you today. Shout out to the fans and please share your goals and resolution. Listen. Yeah, today was the match uh, opening day for the summer season. I think we were able to get off a good start, which is great. And I want to make sure that we keep it going. And Showmaker. Yeah, a lot of fans are here today. We heard how loud you were today. I feel like I'm very grateful that there are so many good fans out there that are so supportive and I want to deliver good results for all of you guys to pay it off. And that's the end of the interview with Showmaker and Lucid of Deep Kia, now passing it back to the space. Thank you.